Welcome back. Today we have a development in military technology, the successful missile test fire of Pakistan's Shapar-2 drone from an altitude of 14,000 feet. The Shapar-2 is an Advanced Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle, or UCAV, developed by Global Industrial and Defense Solutions, or GIDs. This drone is classified as a Medium Altitude Long Endurance, or MAIL UAV, designed for both surveillance and combat missions. Measuring 8 meters in length with a wingspan of 9.45 meters, it can carry an internal payload of up to 53 kilograms and an external payload of 190 kilograms. With a maximum speed of 120 knots and a service ceiling reaching 23,000 feet for surveillance operations, the Shapar 2 is a formidable platform. Recently, JIDS showcased the Shapar 2's capabilities during a live demonstration attended by military officials from 11 allied nations. The highlight? The drone successfully engaged targets using its indigenous Burke air-to-ground guided missile from an impressive altitude of 14,000 feet. The precision and efficiency of this firing capability were on full display as the drone accurately neutralized ground targets showcasing its advanced targeting systems. Equipped with the Zoomer 2 electro-optical infrared sensor system, the Shapar 2 offers enhanced reconnaissance and targeting capabilities. This sensor suite allows for day and night operations, making it a versatile tool for modern warfare. The Burke missile itself is designed for precision strikes ensuring high accuracy even from significant distances. Future enhancements are already in the pipeline, including tests for lighter variants and laser-guided bombs. In terms of competition, JIDS positions the Shapar 2 as a cost-effective alternative to established drones like Turkey's Bayraktar TB2 and China's CH4. While its flight endurance may not match that of its competitors, 14 hours compared to Bayraktar's 27 hours, it compensates with robust targeting features and lower operational costs. The demonstration attracted attention from various allied nations including Saudi Arabia, Nigeria, and Kenya. GIDs aims to leverage this interest to expand its market presence globally. Looking ahead, GIDs plans further testing of advanced ordnance such as the Bark 2 missile. This commitment to innovation highlights Pakistan's ambition to enhance its defense capabilities through indigenous technology. The successful test fire of the Shapar 2 marks a significant milestone for Pakistan's defense sector. As we witness advancements in unmanned technology, it will be interesting to see how this drone performs in international markets. If the video is informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.